of influencers. I'm a Dutch girl, uh, actress, DJ, mother of two kids, and fit girl. Uh, I wrote three books, three bestsellers, and uh, they are all about uh, the healthy lifestyle, sports, and dieting. And I really love to motivate people and to let them know that, to help them realize that you can achieve everything in life as long as you believe in yourself and you go for it. Okay. How did it all start? It? Where did you start? Uh, with? Which part of it? <laughs> I don't know, your success story. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, when I was a kid, I knew I wanted to be an actress and I didn't like school at all. I didn't like anything, uh, only acting. And uh, you have this big soap in Holland that's called Goede Tijden, Slecht Tijden, GTSD. And when I was 12, I said, wait till I play in that soap. And well, how do you call it in English? Good times, bad times. Uh, where, where's the, about what is it? It's like the, the, the bold and the beautiful stuff. Like okay. It's, it's just a soap. And it's the biggest soap in Holland. And I said to everybody in my class in the eighth grade, uh, yeah, I want to be... Uh, an actress in that soap and for me that was always my dream and that was my plan and that was plan A and there was no B so a couple of years later 21 uh, I uh, I played in that soap for three years and then it started rolling and rolling and then I did some movies and other stuff and uh, I was always uh, I wasn't happy with my body I have like the jeans that have curves and stuff but it was all a little bit fluffy fluffy how you call this fluffy <laughs> Uh, so I was always like doing a diet that was really unhealthy with diet pills or uh, yeah, unhealthy stuff. You have well, this. Also when you were younger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then after I get my body that I like, I'm going to eat again, eat again, eat again. And it always was like this, like yo-yoing. And then um, in 2012, I t did uh, the American Survivor. It's called American Survivor, I think. In Holland, it's called Expedition Robinson. Yeah. And then you go on an island and you don't eat for 30 days. And then I did that and I lost 11 kilos. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Three, 33 days I was there in the finals. I didn't win. You didn't win? No. The 50, Why not? 50,000 go pew! <laughs> no, uh, I didn't win. Um, and what was the prize money? Was 50,000? Yeah, the first. Okay. And the second was nothing. But okay. I didn't want, and, um, but I came back and then I had this really uh, eat dis disorder, how you say this? Yeah, eating disorder. Yeah, yeah. because I didn't eat for three, 33 days, only three uh, spoons of rice every day. Uh, I wanted to eat everything. Why did you do that? Because we didn't have uh, any food. Oh, there was a, at the exhibition room? Yeah. Thing. Okay. And then when I came back, I, uh, I wanted to eat everything and it, it, it kept going. And, and after a year, I thought, okay, this really has to stop. And that's when I started an Instagram account to motivate, motivate myself. I said to myself, okay, fine, now you stop, you go train and you go eat healthy. And um, you start this Instagram account uh, for the pressure from outside. So if you put the first picture from oh, this is how I look now, everybody wants to see how you look afterwards. So it started as a motivation for myself and I started to upload like, trainings videos and how I started and then everybody was following me and asking me oh how you train your butt oh how do you get this flat uh, tummy oh how you do this and then I thought oh I'm I'm also dyslectic no? yeah, really? yeah so I thought oh how do I have to answer all those people okay you know what I do I make a website with all the questions and I do trainings videos and you can see my training videos for six euros a month and then everybody can pay it and then they can follow me and that's how it started and from that point there was a book and that became a bestseller follow the moti on instagram facebook and snapchat <laughs>